Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog. Today we're going to do scuba diving in Palau with my friend Alex and our master diver Ruben. You must be a paddy certified to go scuba diving. You can check their website at www.paddy.com for certification courses. Won't you come along? And it feels so bright. It's like luck is raining on me. Go and follow your heart. Doesn't matter how far. There is so much love to give. To start our diving activity, we begin with wearing our scuba diving suit, mask, and fins, plus the oxygen tank as well. Something's telling me it's right. When you came to me, oh, I knew it's you, yeah, boy. The oxygen tank is usually heavy guys, so better be careful with it. And to avoid getting your tank over you causing injuries, it is advised to fall backwards to the water by doing a backflip. When we get into the water, we started to descend at 40 feet down to 60 feet. There is low visibility because of the weather. A bad weather causes movement and turbulence in the water, which normally steers up the bottom and creates bad visibility. And it's an open door And off my line of sight and small Out of luck, out of luck It'll all be fine this time Out of luck, out of luck We are now at the German Channel, which is one of Palau's famous dive spot. This was named due to the German occupation of Palau when they blasted and dredged a channel connecting the ocean with the inner lagoon that created a nutrient and plankton rich current on the incoming tide. We were waiting for the reef shark and the mantas but they didn't show up. Our master diver Ruben said that the best time to spot the mantas are during the mating season which is usually during the months of December and March. But even if we didn't see the mantas and the sharks, we still enjoyed our diving because it is a totally new experience for us. We are really grateful for our master diver Ruben and to the other divers who were assisting us on this dive. And even Alex was struggling to keep her buoyancy stable here. She still enjoyed this diving session so much. And we will definitely come back to see more of Palau's underwater paradise. Diving could be really tiring at some point, but it is definitely worth doing. A little trivia. It is said that an average scuba dive can burn up to around 600 calories an hour about the equivalent of jogging, 
so it's reasonable to feel tired after diving. Just remember to hydrate yourself after to feel okay quickly. Thank you guys for watching our video. There's still a lot to see here in Palau, so watch out for our next vlog to see more of Palau. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Lots of love. Bye!